Okay, so here's the plan for today. I am going to turn my fireplace, electric fireplace, gas fireplace, into a device that can be turned on by saying, okay, Google. Now the goal or the plan is to replace that outlet there, has power running to it, it's been turned off, with a different box, junction box, and have that power run up to a wall switch, which I have a, is a TP-Link uh, wall switch that can integrate with the Google Home device. And when I throw that switch, the fireplace will turn on and off via a relay that I have. And I can also say, okay, Google, and turn the fireplace on and off. So that's the goal for today. I'm gonna re relocate the switch that is currently on the wall to this location right here on the panel, which is underneath the grill. And that way, in case of power outage, I can still lift the grill off and turn on the fireplace manually. So here's the items that I'm going to be using. Is Here's my um, junction box with a wall plate. Here is the relay. I'm going to use it. It takes a 120 volt in and then it activates a normally open or normally closed uh, relay. And then here is my TP-Link wall switch. So power will come up from the outlet underneath the fireplace to here. That will feed back down to my relay right here, which will then feed to the switch, which will activate the fireplace. So that's the goal for today. Right now I have to get in there and I already shut off the power, so I need to get that uh, that junction box out of there with the wall plate and, uh, and then go from there. So there we go. So here we go. We have the device all hooked up, and uh, so I just need to button it up. I was just doing a little testing, so let's do a test. Okay, Google, turn on the fireplace. Okay, Google, turn off the fireplace. You got it. Turn it off the fireplace. And if I want to still use the switch without controlling it, I hit the switch. And the fireplace comes on. Hit the switch again. And it goes off. And if I want to say, okay, Google, turn on the fireplace. There it lights up, and then if I want to just turn it off manually, I still can. So there we go. I've got to button it up, uh, make sure all the wires are connected, uh, turn off the gas again, turn off the power, and uh, put the uh, outlet back up in, underneath the fireplace, make sure it's all secure, um, and then uh, we are good to go. So it worked out great. Took a little more time than I thought. Trying to feed that wire down back behind the wall was a kind of a pain, but all turned out great. So there we go. We have the outlet all tucked back into place, secured to the wall underneath the uh, fireplace, and then just got to put it back the faceplate, and we'll be good to go. Okay, a final, uh, final wrap up here, just to show you, I got everything picked up, cleaned up. Um, I believe it's still my power is on. Okay, Google, turn on the fireplace. And there we go, we have it. So everything seems to work out perfect still. Let's see, we still have the wall switch here that will control the uh, fireplace too. And then back on. Okay, Google, turn off the fireplace. You got it, turning the fireplace off. And we are done, so that is the wrap up of uh, making my fireplace automatic with home okay google and i'll put a link in the uh, description below to what parts i used so have a great day